right. Do some more Elden Ring. Mm. Oh, forgot to start my controller. All right, so I'm gonna go in hard. I'm starting to wonder if maybe a thief, if a, not thief, but the bandit build was actually a good idea or not. Uh, oh, I'm gonna have to restart so that my controller gets registered. All right, time for more Elden Ring. It is time for more Elden Ring. All right, time for more Elden Ring. Elden Ring, Elden Ring. There we go. It is still deciding to not use my controller. Okay. Let's try this again. Okay. Alright. Yeah, it's been released February 24th. So I missed like the first couple of weeks of this, basically. It feels like. And I got it a couple of days ago, but I've been busy, so I haven't really gotten a chance to sit down and play it for very long. Okay, we are. I need to reset the game window. There we go. Okay, so... Still having some issues with, you know, enemies going invisible and stuff like that. Still not entirely sure what causes that, but... I'm, it is... it does appear to be linked to FPS. When FPS is dropping, that tends to be when it happens. I haven't actually looked at my previous video to see if... So you might have noticed that little thing in the top right corner. That is called Mango HUD. That is a special heads-up display to help check on your computer's performance while you're running Vulkan games in Linux. This isn't technically a Vulkan game, but it uses a Vulkan thing for, as a replacement for DirectX. Whoa, let's not go over the edge. Okay, well. Ooh, is that the guidance? Okay, this is Lost Grace. Is this a new Lost Grace? It is, okay. Cool. So, right now our goal is to do a little exploring, level up, and then go deal with Margaret. Or Margaret. I like Margaret. Level up. What are we at for runes? I don't think we have... Oh, we got... We got... We can level up. We can get one level up. And... So I'm not sure what arcane is good for, other than discovery. Explanation. Okay, actually this might be useful. Level, a cumulative break figure that represents overall attribute strength. You can level up using runes. Runes held. 
runes needed. Number of runes required to raise a level. When you level up, you can choose an attribute. This probably gives me all the same stuff. Yeah, it says the same description as it showed when I was creating this character. Discovery governs likelihood of finding items on the corpses of defeated foes. The degree to which you can resist collapsing under enemy attack. So poise is something that's kind of a big deal in Dark Souls 1 and basically non-existent in Dark Souls 2 and still kind of but not totally gone from Dark Souls 3. So I'm curious, since I'm assuming that this game uses the Dark Souls 3 poise system where it's like there's an invisible ticker where your poise refreshes every like i don't even know what the amount of time is like every three seconds or something like that but if you happen to lose too much if you happen to take too much damage before that three seconds is up during any three second interval then you're more likely to be you know staggered what are those are those those tentacle beasts I saw, th I saw things like this down at the beach. Oh, okay. They're chumps. It seems like the very first hit does a little extra damage. Probably because they're not aware of you probably get some sort of bonus to attack. Yep. Nice. We got four arrows. This is this is really cool having a giant open world like this though in in a Dark Souls style game. Oh, there's some enemies. Our frame rate is getting close to bad vision. There's some more enemies there. What the heck is that doing there? Okay, I have to use my one of my arrows for this. Come on. There we go. See, that felt like something a Korok would pop out of. Hmm. If I continue down this way, where will it take me? I've not been paying too close attention to where I've been going. Yeah, so there's stuff down here. I see a corpse that might have some loot on it. Oh, there's a dude. Is he alone? Not quite. Fucking rise. Okay, they didn't see me. They're turning around and walking away. They turn like to like semi transparent ghosts when they're about to go invisible. Now oh, there's more enemy over there. So what's up with this stuff here? Oh, can they see me? Yeah, they saw me. If I hide a little bit, are they going to be able to find me? Hmm. 
No, they lost track of me. Okay, cool. That's exactly what I was hoping would happen. See, the AI behavior has definitely changed from the way it was in Dark Souls. Ooh, okay. Come on. Nope. Good thing these guys don't do a whole lot of damage. Oh, ah, let's just go for the backstab. Okay, so... We got a few things out of that, but I wasn't even really paying attention to what I was picking up. Oh, well, that's gone. I'm pretty sure that was just some runes. Let's take a look under the inventory. Okay, so we got Kukri's. Ruin fragments. Material used for crafting items. Baltican's Blessing. See, this is kind of what I was talking about before. Well, let's read about this. Favor bestowed by a deathbed companion. Protection of a hidden temple in the guise of a bedchamber. Uses FP to temporarily boost poise. The favor allows one to forget any aches and pains. In death, there is only peace. For in death, there can be no sensation. Hmm. Okay. Protection of a hidden temple in the guise of bedchamber. Interesting. So I wonder if that's an actual place. Or just more like a concept. Rune fragments that have that has rune fragment that has undergone some simple processing. Craftable item. Stones such as these shine with the colors of the rainbow, making them useful markers when Oh okay, that's what these are. Can also be dropped to gauge the distance of a fall. The higher the pitch the sound, the higher the likelihood of the fall being fatal. Once used to entertain children on the fringes of the land lands between. Okay, we'll explore that some- we'll look that up some more. Is this area just a dead end? This doesn't look like a cliff I want to jump down. Hmm. Is that the beach from before? Where I fought the guy with the gravitas? Spell? Magic? Thing? Maybe. Maybe not. Yeah. Guess I could always look at my map. It is not. I'm looking at something... Wait, stranded? No, no, it is. It is too. Okay, cool. So I'm looking... I'm pointing away from it now. Alright, well, if I want to get back up, then I'm going to have to get through these guys, I guess. Let's deal with these jokers here before the rest come back. Ah. Nope. That attack was maybe too heavy for me to parry. Oh. Nice. Heavy attack with the knife is pretty good. Oh. Are you guys up there? Is that what that's all about? Man. Okay. That's not bad. Golden Rune. Nice. 
feel like those guys are supposed to be easy. It's supposed to be relatively easy to deal with. Except when they're large groups, maybe. Oh, he has a scimitar. Ah. Okay. Get away. How do these Okay, yeah. They They can jump up. They can jump up clips no problem. Let's actually see where I'm going so I don't walk into danger. Oof, like that. That could have been that could have been bad. That would have been ooh. I have to keep that in mind when running to Lost Grace that's sitting right next to a cliff. Holy frig. Hey. Is this potentially What's up with that? It's an enemy that I can target from this far away. What's up? Okay, so there's there's the dude I fought before and I killed before. Can I drop directly down? No. Okay, so I can drop here, but I don't know if that's going to kill me or not. Let's see if there's a better way to drop down. I mean, I'm right next to a site of Lost Grace, so it's not like the end of the world if this does kill me. Actually, yeah, let's just do that. Okay. <laughs> Alright. So that happened. But now I just have to go back and pick up my runes. And now I know, at least. Now I have gained knowledge. Ooh. So, if that kills me, then... Where should I go down? Or does it even tr make sense to try at this point? Because right, right now my only motivation is to check this dude out. It's... Oh, that's a wolf, isn't it? I thought it was a person lying down, but that's a wolf. Yeah, I don't see anything else that's really special. That's worth investigating down there yet. Until I know I have a like a safer way to get down. When I was playing Dark Souls 3, the one hush, I think it was, it granted you silent footsteps and also gave you, you know, it negated fall damage as well. Or reduced fall damage, rather. You could still die from falling too far, but the amount of fall damage that you got was cut by a per certain percentage. I wonder if this game will have something similar. A different, like a similar spell. And okay, we're back here again. Hmm. What are we at? You know what? Let's just go back to the site of Lost Grace, level up one more time, and then see if we can deal with Margaret. Oh, it's these guys again. Wait, where is the... Oh, there it is. Walked right past it. That is kind of hidden. I bet I bet you... I bet this is one that you could just walk past and not even notice. And just never activate. Okay. 
Okay, so let us... Stamina, equip load. I'm not going to upgrade that just yet. I may in the future, but I don't feel the need to right now. Let's get strength. Then at least we'll have some more options for weapons. No, we still can't wield that. That's a 16. But that Santa Claus looking... Actually, what am I doing? Church of Ella. Okay, this is where the Santa Claus dude is. Or at least that's where he was. He might he might be moved, for all I know. Oh. Okay. What's up? A pleasure to meet you, Tarnus. You have four hands. We're getting a lot of dialogue options where it's like NPC comes up to you says, is this true? And then you can either say yes or no. But knowing the dialogue in Dark Souls 1, it kind of makes me wonder, hmm, should I sometimes say no? Should I sometimes tell a lie? I'll be honest. Oh. Oh, excellent. Spirit Calling Bell. Why does it sound like there's an enemy close by? Lone Wolf Ashes. Hello. Here you do it. You just came here to give me that? We shall again meet. But all the same, learn well the lands between. Rainer, what's going on? I wonder, before the tarnished tire of obeisance to the two fingers. Oh. Okay, so, interesting. We got a little bit more lore and plot. What are you doing? What are you doing? Sounds like there's an enemy just on the other side of the wall. No. Maybe they're not enemies, maybe it's just more of that cattle. Anyway. Weren't you well, you're back. Care to buy something? Purchase. Ooh. Enables the practice of item crafting. I feel like I should just buy this now. How, much, how many runes do I have? Runes held in nine Okay, so let's do this and also get the spyglass. Bone arrow, bone... Oh, actually, I stand correct. Maybe I'll get that instead. Being able to craft my own arrows might be important. Especially since arrows seem to be a bit more expensive. Materials and magic sealed within deploy their effects when the pot is thrown. Yeah, let's go for that. And then I have 150 left, which is not enough for anything. Except throwing daggers. We'll get some arrows. Why not? Pop off. 
pretty low on arrows as it is, so. Okay. What are you doing, huh? What are you doing, you goofball? Little goofball? Alright, guys. I need a rain or break. So. I suppose what I should do is get a rapier or a scimitar or another dex based sword that might be a little more effective than this dagger. I mean, this dagger is pretty good. What is it called? <clears throat> it's not called a dagger. Great knife plus one. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. Large knife with a broad curved blade. Yeah, okay, so I read this. I think... Oh, saw that tree moving and I thought it was a giant enemy for a second there. What are you doing? What are you doing? Alright, yeah, so I think that's the plan is I'm gonna gather up a few more runes. I might stick with the Great Knife, but I do need to level up at least one more time before I try to take on Murgut again. I think that would be reasonable. Don't you think? Don't you think? I could just... Wait, what is that call? Gatefront. Oh, okay. I could kill some guys at the gatefront. Engrave. Got tons of cat hair floating around. Alright, so... Couple of easy pickings here. That's the chest that I pulled their sword out of. Hello. What, am I not giving you enough attention? What is that gravestone icon in the side there? Status. Swap screen. Does it even explain? What are you doing? I'm at medium load. Wait, was I always at medium load? I put away... Am I still at medium load? I put away that short bow? Yes, I am. Okay. Let's just hang on to the short bow, then. What? What, am I talking too much? Hmm? Am I talking too much? Okay. Sorry, buddy. You are distracting me from the video game. I will give you a little bit more cuddle, but then I have to go. There you go. Are you satisfied with that? <laughs> no? Grr. Okay, no bitey, no bitey, no bitey. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. All right. That. Okay, front ruins. Okay. So I need to be aware of where the enemies are. I'm still not sure what that icon to the left means, but I'm sh I'm sure I'll figure it out at some point. There's bats over there. How comes there's bats over there? 
Do they just come out at night? That's probably a thing, right? Got that guy's attention. Alright. Oh, hey. There's another chest here. What do we got this time? A flail. Okay, that's another strength weapon. I get spotted if I follow up this guy. Oh, well, he spotted me. Okay. Oh, hey, there's a thing here. Map found. That sounds useful. Let's run. Okay, where you come from? Okay, I have multiple dudes. I would like to not have multiple dudes. Are they going to prevent me from doing this? No. <laughs> like, t tag, home free. Alright. That was interesting. This one that I killed over here, he did not come back. Oh, okay, never mind. He did come back. Frame rate goblins. Oh, no, the frame rate, frame rate wizard cast a spell on him, so I couldn't see him. Should I try to take this guy out? I think it might be a good idea. Oh, he's turning around. Okay. Oh, I see. Ha <laughs> gotcha. He saw me. Didn't react fast enough, though. Yeah, rain really kills the frame rate for me. We're using 12 gigabytes of RAM. Which is fine, because I've got like 36 or 32. 32, I'm pretty sure. Just out of curiosity. System monitor. How are we doing on my other resources? Because my computer is doing more than just playing Elden Ring right now. I would like to make sure it's not... There isn't something else that's causing a problem. Nope. All my CPUs are working, but... None of them are at 100%. Some are 50, some are 60, some are 30. Okay. Well. Frame rate, frame rate wizard is not going to win this time. Okay, that's a dude. Did I get spotted by somebody else? Yes, I did. Is 
This is so goofy. Oh. I got stamina for days with this great knife. Like, if I've got an enemy that can be staggered, then I just wail on him until he's dead. Ah, I keep on wanting to, like, climb up things, kind of like in Breath of the Wild. Okay, rain has stopped. FPS is not improving. There's bats. Let's let's not deal with those. Actually, can I climb up here? Yes, I can. There's a dude to fight. Oh, as if. Okay, this, that's not so fun to deal with. So are the soldiers and the bats friendly with each other? It seems like they might be. Yeah, I knew there was a guy there. Oh. Sorry, wealthy boy. Okay. Getting too hot for comfort there. Ah, that did not kill him. I was hoping it would kill him. It just pissed him off. <laughs> Alright. Time to run home free again. Alright, so I am getting a feel for... Infiltrating amps. Which is not really something you do playing Dark Souls. Alright, so. That's that. And it's kind of like, I don't want to spend the whole game comparing this to Dark Souls, but pretty much have to. I explored that little section there. There's this tower here. Ooh. What direction are you facing? You are facing the opposite direction. There's a dude coming from over there. The frame rate, frame rate wizard has blessed him. Oh, he's frustrated that he missed me. You know what? Let us... I'm gonna reduce my resolution. We'll see if that helps. Hmm. Low... Low on... Oh. Grass quality is medium, but that's the lowest it goes. Okay. That does help a little bit. If I come out over here, then he can't see me. Which is fair, in my opinion. Fair trade. Tree and beast circo. Ooh. Actually, I got a helmet before, didn't I? Wait, is it, it's a little heavier? It offers better resistance to everything except for lightning. Slightly more, more poise. What is vitality? Okay, there's, there's vitality as a thing that I can actually just look at. 
the resistance your armor offers to death. Higher values means it's higher values make it more difficult to be afflicted with instant death. Okay, so that's your death saving throw, basically. Focus. The resistance of your armor offers to sleep. Oh, to like sleep as in like magical sleep being shot shot at you. Robustness. The resistance of your armor offers to blood loss and frostbite. Okay, cool. <clears throat> I might stick with the the Thief Bandit mask. Got you. No more bats. Which is nice. Yeah, what's the deal with this tower thing here? Is there a deal with it? It would seem that there is not. I've seen these things off and on. I wonder if they're significant. Oh, got someone's attention. If that's the big knight that's coming after me, then I'm just gonna run. If it's anyone else. Oh yeah. Oh no, it's... There we go. Gotcha. Got some bolts. Not that I need them, but... Better than nothing. It's like I saw me, but... Okay. It was, must have been the wind. Ooh. That guy almost saw me. Haha. <laughs> Time to run. Alright, let's see where the wolves come from. So I'm curious about how the enemy pathing finds you when you're not in their direct line of sight. I feel like there's probably some ways to abuse that. <clears throat> it's a good thing their torches aren't invisible. Okay. Well, you know what? Oh, backstab. Go for a sip. Alright. Still a lot more soldiers in this camp that I could kill. What do we got first? Okay, we have a thousand. <clears throat> I'm not sure if I need to kill... Well, let's kill one more. <clears throat> that might be enough to get another level. This guy's got the wolves. OK, 
get bolts. Ah. Gotcha. I don't trust the parries on those. Oh, shield users. Speaking of shield users. Oof. <laughs> okay, time to move. Ooh, you have to get good at, like, recognizing when the geometry allow will allow you to make a little jump like that. Gotcha. Not that I get anything out of that. You know, you know what? Ooh, that does not give me enough time to recover. Damn it. I wanted to try. Can you blame me? I wanted to see if I could take him. Uh, last side of grace. We'll do that just because I was pretty close to one. There we go. Okay, so we'll level up and move on. Hmm. Yeah. I was just thinking. I could. I could go for another. But no. I'm not going to. If I wanted to wield that longsword, though. And two-hand it. No, no, it'd have to be 12. <laughs> 11 wouldn't be enough for strength. Uh, us. Uh, oh, hey. Hmm. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, so now a new map has been found, Limgrave West. Oh wow, okay, so you just get this piece of map. Castleward Tunnel. Let's give Margaret another try. Margaret. <laughs> Okay, so we here we are. Let's get our little summon buddy. Nice. Let's traverse the mist. Here we go. Ah, oh, that was a very delayed but very accurate attack. Got summon swords. Oh, he's doing he's doing some damage. Damn. I'm gonna have to figure out a better strategy than just wail on him with a dagger. 
I don't have access to poison arrows or anything yet. I don't believe I do anyway. Let us... Actually, I've got zero runes now because I lost them all. Hmm. I don't think I could buy book poison arrows yet. Well, let's give Margot another try. Didn't think he even was swinging at me. All right. <clears throat> yeah. Picking bandit made more sense before I realized I had to fight this guy this early in the game. But I've seen clips of people fighting him in the network test. I didn't realize he'd be the, the first boss. I'll give it one more try. I'm low on arrows. Bring our partner with us. Okay, let's do it. I don't think the bow and arrow combo was really working that well anyway. Okay, tail swipe. Oh, he leads you a little bit with his attack. There we go. Nice. Got him with the crit. Ah, uh, wasted your summon swords. Sorry there, buddy. Ooh. I feel like that should have gotten me. Maybe my eye fr maybe the iframes in this game are a little more generous than they were in the Dark Souls 3. Whoa! Don't go off the edge. Heck yeah. Okay. Oof, okay. We got how many runes from that? None. Alright. Okay, there goes Hot Sorcerer Roger. I was about to try to dodge into it, but I think I was too slow. Sometimes if I'm panicking, you know I'm panicking if I just jump out of nowhere. Because my right hand paddle button in Dark Souls 3 was my Estus button. But now it's my jump button. So if you see me just jump, like roll, roll, jump while getting away from an enemy. For no apparent reason, that's probably why. 
All right, well, we have, oh, I was checking my HUD, but I accidentally sat down. Two arrows. Okay, not enough to really do anything. Hmm. Ah, let's check out... Let's check out the shoreline a little bit. I did that while I was testing things out. And there is stuff... There's some stuff that I could probably get there while I'm leveling up. Got anything new to say? I don't need a seat. Yes, and besides, you are maidenless. One can only be, but then again, if you should, I'm always willing. Okay, cool. Should I try to fight him? This does not feel optimal. Okay. Wow. That did not work out. Okay, that guy's that guy's not a joke. Let's go somewhere else. Of course, it has to be raining. If I go down this way, the frame rate should improve. But it's not as bad down here. There's that dude. Not sure if I really want to try to take him right now, though. The giant dude. Ooh. Frame rate, frame rate wizard. Mushroom. There's still some more stuff to explore here that I haven't looked at. There's a pond. a couple of those things. It looks like an egg, but I have the feeling that it's not. Is this? Oh. I see these things do not seem to move around very easily. No, oh, I could have gotten. There you go.
Does this count as a swamp? I don't know if it does or not. Is that a crab? Oh, it's a turtle. Hello, turtle. Gold-tinged excrement. I'm gonna assume that you're not hostile, even though I can target you. Probably an important thing to remember. Non-hostiles can be targeted. <clears throat> I don't want to kill a turtle, though. I'll kill a deer, not a turtle. <laughs> Turtles are cool. Okay, what's the point of this area? I was kind of hoping to find a treasure chest or something. It's just a flavor area, I guess. Flavor location. Ooh, we got some activity up here. Okay, so go for Torch Dude first. Ah. Tried to get the backstab on you. Oh, he's running away. <laughs> get him! Fragment. I wonder what they're collecting here. Oh, hello. Oh, were you supposed to be guarding those guys? Nice. I'm not gonna ask. I'm gonna shoot first, ask, ask questions later. I am a bandit after all. <clears throat> oh. That door is not open. And beast bones. Nice. Assuming that's what you use for the arrows. Okay. Ah. Stormfoot catacombs. Oh. Got a tutorial ghost. A proper death means returning to the Erd tree. Have patience until the time comes and the roots call to you. I attack you. No. Why do you have ghost chains? Is that what those are supposed to be? Ghost chains? No, they're ghost mushrooms. Just spreading out of the ground next to you. Okay. That's a dude. Thought I heard some breathing. Aha! There's a freak right there. There might be one in the other corner that I'm not seeing. Wait, am I targeting the statue? This guy is clearly alive here. I'm gonna 
since he's supposed to, looks like he's supposed to be the one ambushing me, and there isn't anybody else in this room other than that guy in the middle, I'm going to go after this guy at the side. Ooh. Okay. He's... Oh. He's a little guy standing up on... Okay, so they are... I totally thought it was just a normal shaped person with a creepy goblin head. No, it is. He just kind of gets down on all fours or something like that. Can I do something to draw him over? Let's just take a quick look down here. There's another goblin. I guess more like gargoyles. Because they look like they're made of stone. Wait. See, I have these... What is my status? Hmm. Okay, no. It doesn't stay hidden. So yeah, I don't get what those statuses are supposed to mean. Something is improved, something is negated, something is down. Okay, what do I have that will help me in this situation? Rune Fragment, Glowstone, emits a faint light from the location it is placed. Shard of Filthy Glass, Worthless Rubbish. Small Golden Effigy, sends a co-op sign to summon Poopos. I'm assuming that this is a consumable. Crafting materials, bolstering materials, key items, sorceries, incantations, ashes of war, a flail, that's 18, 18 decks, oh, why is the text so high? Okay, oh, it's a flail, I was thinking it was like a morning star, but this is a flail on a chain, that might be a good dex weapon. If I upgrade my decks a couple more times. Ooh, he is quick. He is easily staggered, though. Despite appearing to be made of stone. Okay. So I was able to draw him out. So they can be fought one at a time. Okay, I wasn't expecting that. Oof. There we go. Okay, so the knife spam remains the best strategy so far. Root resin. I could not have taken both those little dudes at the same time.
So this area is probably beyond my current capabilities, which makes me want to explore even more. Do they respawn? Yeah, they respawned. That's my level. Or, okay. I could just farm those two dudes, but... I feel like there's better ways to spend my time. There's a dude there. There's probably dudes around the corner here. But once I run... If I come in here, probably going to trigger. Yeah, there's more dudes there. It's another dude there. Oh. I have no arrows. Drat. What happens if I just run through? I don't have a ton of souls. Whoa! Whoa! Ah! Did he come through the wall? I think he came through- he glitched his way through the wall. Oh, he's just ch chilling, walking back. Okay. <laughs> So they can do that. They can glitch their way through the wall. I don't know if that's intended or not. I'm going to assume that it's not, but I still want to figure out a decent way to do that. Try this again. Yeah. Got you. stamina there. I, it seems like the third one does not go after me. I might have enough time. Yeah, I'm gonna have enough time. I just don't know what's at the other end when I get... Like, I don't know if that's actually safe or not. Okay. Good call. Oh, I got stuck on geometry. Okay. We're safe. What's up here? I'll continue down that way. Oh, there's more dudes there. Ah, oh, man. Too bad I even ran out of arrows. Let's just continue. That's a dude. They sit very still, so they're almost impossible to notice. Okay, that's the third dude. No, there's a dude there.
Can I trick him to fall down? Ooh, well, that did a little damage, but... Okay. Now he's down. Will this one climb back up? Oh, yeah, he will. Okay. Now, the other one that just fell down, I don't know if he's smart enough to find his way to that ladder. Or if he'll even survive the trip there, because I don't know if he's smart enough to time his steps through the flames. Can I go down here? I could go down there. <laughs> uh, lock on. The lock on cheese. You know what? How are we doing for souls? We're doing all right. We gathered some stuff. Oh, he's like on the wall. Okay. Got his attention. Let's see if I can get his attention from a distance. Oh, he's, he's just gonna throw daggers. Come on. Oh, come on, really? You're just going to stay there? You're not going to get any closer? I knew it! I knew there was another. I knew he wasn't alone. Okay. Was it just the two of them? Okay, yeah, it was just the two of them. And this is the end, so I'm glad I came this far. <clears throat> I thought about just cutting my losses there, but... This is the end of this part at the dungeon, at least. There's probably other sections I could go through. Is there one directly below me? Oh, this probably opens up the door to the next area. I have one more Crimson Flask. Oh, seriously? Whoa. Where'd the fireball come from? Oh, they're throwing exploding urns, aren't they? Oh. I don't know if they'll follow me or not. Oh. Okay. Should I? I have almost enough to level up. Oh, hey, you can backstab these guys. Uh, I think there was two on the ground. Yeah, there's that one there. Slowly creeping up towards me. I like that. They think he's being sneaky? Is that what's happening? Oh. 
Oh, he backs up quick, though. Got you. Caught you in my stun trap. Where'd he go? Oh. I thought he was still close. Oh. There okay, so that's another one. I had a feeling there was another one there, but I couldn't quite remember. Sounds like there's another one wandering around. But I can't tell where they are. They're somewhere to my right. Purple. The grave violet. Nice. I could have missed that. I didn't explore the end of this. Whoa! God damn it! Woof! That was a panic roll. Oh man. I don't know why I feel the need to like move my head over as if it's gonna help me look. I can't tell if there's anything worth it down there. Let's run this way. Back the way I came from. Back to the bonfire. And yes, I'm still I still think of it as a bonfire. Okay. So we are gonna take a quick break. We are one hour and 23 minutes in. I'll be right back. Right. And we're back. Can we level up now? We have one level up. If we can level up Dex one more time and switch to the Flail, that would be cool. So does that door stay open? I'm hoping that it does. Yes, it does. Nice. What's the deal with the What's the deal with this door? The boss. Oh. Oof. Okay. Oh, he does a spin attack. Okay. I was going to say, if he only attacks directly in front of him, then that's not too bad. So this is the roots of the Erd tree. Is that to my understanding? What does this guy say again? A proper death means returning to the Erd tree. Have patience until the time comes and the roots call to you. Okay. I do not understand. So I'm assuming this means I'm not technically supposed to be here yet. But I mean.
Ooh, fire. Okay, so he does telegraph the spin attack a little bit. Oof. Okay. He's weird, because he moves almost, like, robotically. I almost feel like he's more doable than Margaret is right now. Have at ye. Ooh, that was different. Oh, that was, yeah. Whoa, okay. I wasn't ready for that at all. Why was that happening? Because I ran at him? To start? Okay. We'll roll with that. Okay, I want to take a couple more cracks at this boss before I start to use consumables. So I can avoid situations like that. Ooh. Okay, that was a double swing. That wasn't a spin attack. Okay. All right. Seems like he telegraphs the all of his horizontal swings the same way. Which, be fair, it's fine. Because you need to, need to avoid hit them the same way too. I guess I could jump. It seems to be low enough that I could jump, but I'd need very good timing. And I'm not used to jumping in a Souls game, so. Get all my zero souls back. Okay, he shakes his head a little bit before he starts the flames. Ooh. Okay, alright. We're learning, we're learning. Okay. Four. Okay, stab. Okay, so the spin attack. Blade touches the ground. Oof. God damn it. I probably could have avoided that. I just didn't time my dodge very well. Okay. This is good. This is a different sort of Dark Souls fight, too. I'm not sure... I'm not even sure what boss from the previous games you could compare it to. Okay. If I 
I try to stay it to his left. Oh. He does that. Okay. Horizontal. Oh, that's another horizontal. It's a little bit quicker, but it doesn't last as long. Okay. Okay. Ooh, he just snapped into position for that one. Or is he just starting over again? Uh, I shouldn't have attacked from the direct, the direct front. Doesn't really seem to have any ranged attacks. Other than the fire. Ooh. Okay. I shouldn't have quick stepped. I should have saved it. I was thinking, man, I need to use my quick step more. <laughs> It'd be more useful for getting in for aggressive movements. Oh yeah, and we're doing this. We're we're in it. Ooh, I didn't think that would hit me. Okay. Nice. Ooh. That was a weird one. It was like I dodged the first part of the hitbox, but then still got hit. Okay. Hmm. This boss does feel doable. Gotten it down to half health, at least. Too early. Oof. Okay. <clears throat> Move away. Was way too wide. I was thinking if I got in a little closer to his backside, he wouldn't hit me with that, but I was wrong. Oof, okay. <clears throat> I 
don't got anything to say other than just trying it again and learning it. This is good. Okay, let's move away. Ah, uh, I dodged way too early. Oh no. Okay. Let's see. When I'm going at a boss like this, I might just do like a clip show sort of thing with all the times I failed. Nope. Too early. <clears throat> map. Use your map to check your current position. Is that a fishing pool? Oh, that was a fishing pool for some reason. Oof. No. Not next to the column. 
Getting too aggressive, too aggressive. Snap back. I could not move fast enough. <laughs> I was locked in. Whoa, that was goofy. Okay. Do I need to, do I need to be spamming the dodge button to get up faster? Is that that why that happens? Summoning spirits. A monument icon is shown on the left can summon spirits from the ashes. Oh, that's what the oh, okay. I see. Wow, I don't know how that didn't kill me.
Oh. Okay, well that's that for that. Okay, that was probably not the best move, but it worked. Okay. Let's just back off. I don't like dealing with this fire. Again, so close. Oof, I got that was bad timing. God damn it. Oh, I just needed one more hit. Damn it. Uh, I'm gonna be salty about that one for a while. I'll be right back. All right. <laughs> Got my slippers. <sighs> All right. Here we go again on my own. That's a new one. I got too greedy. I 
I did a decent amount of damage to him. So can I keep on using those? Is that what that means? Man. Okay, well that's it for them. I kinda wonder, so now that I've been thinking about it, I wonder if switching up to the flail might be more effective. But let's explore this dungeon a little bit more. Try to get some more souls so we can level up. Oh, he doesn't come through the wall. He's just hanging on the wall. Little bastard. Well, I legit thought he was just glitching through the wall to come after me, but that was not the case. Be shy. Come on. I'm right here. There you go. Oh, no. Don't act like you're not able to... There we go. There we go. There we go. As for you, I 
Did I even drop any souls? I did not. Collected back all zero souls. Can I draw them out? I know there's another one there. Okay, he never comes down. Maybe I can make arrows. Do I have the materials for making arrows? I could. Probably do. Oh, hello. Hello, prattling pate. Of course. What does it sound like? It probably won't sound like Dragon Slayer Go. Kinda does actually. Not quite as jovial. Alright. Oh, there's another one there. It's hiding. Oh, okay, so this is a party room here. There's the two that you see there, and then there's more hidden. Okay. If I had arrows, then I'd try it. But I don't. I don't have any way to draw them out. So let's just do what we came here to do. Get enough souls to level up one more time. Aha. Oh yeah? You didn't like me doing that, did ya? Ooh. This is new. Worked hatchet. What do we got? How does this work? Strength 9, dex 14. It's actually pretty nice. And does bleeding. It does better bleeding than my great knife does. Nice. It appears to be better at everything except crits. Actually, significantly better. Curlier hatchet wielded by imps. The gently undulating forked blade is known as the, an imp's tongue. It causes blood loss. And it has quick step too. Okay, nice. A little bit slower. Okay, so that is the drawback. Hmm. At four sixty nine. Still kind of want to go for the flail. That's probably the better weapon. Oh. 
does quite a bit more damage, though. The damage m makes it worth it. Nice, 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 nice. Okay. The amount of stamina that I have is pretty nice. Like, if I'm attacking something one on one, I probably have enough stamina to just kill it in one series of attacks. Are you gonna jump at me? No. You missed your opportunity, buddy. Maybe next time. Oh, hey, it's a skeleton under that robe. Uh, we're almost dead enough to another, for another level. Just need to kill like two or three more imps. Actually, you know what? Let's go buy some arrows and then get that one corner that I was avoiding before. Church of Ella. Buy some arrows from this dude. Let's see what else. What else? Might have something else that's useful. No, cannot lock onto him. Which is fine. Once you, well, you're back. Purchase. I have Kukris. I could have been using those. Well, expanding. Expands crafting rep repertoire. Crafting glowstone. Invigorating cured meat. Invigorating white cured meat. Interesting. Hmm. During the age of the Erd tree. <laughs> Carry on astrology wither on the vine. Fate once writ in the night skies had been fettered by the Golden Order. Interesting. Get some arrows. And it was st here Stormfoot Catacombs. Arrows are expensive, though. I'm gonna have to start crafting my own. There you go. Got you. a little bit of hit. Probably from the dagger throwing guy. No, nope, it was just the one coming after me. I tried to hit him with the great knife before, but it didn't quite make it. Oh, it stays down. That's good. God damn it. Damn it. Nice. 
Nice. Just what I was hoping for. That could have gone a little bit more smoothly. Nice. I think it's just the one more. Oh. I could always be wrong. Ah, I had a feeling. Oof. I'm out. <laughs> that was luck. That was all luck. Holy fuck, speaking of luck. Is that it? Smoldering... Wait. Fire material. All I got was a butterfly out of that. And I found a bunch of the smoldering butterflies already, so that really did not seem worth it. There's no illusory walls or anything here, is there? Well... Fire trap is disarmed, at least. Let's go back the safe way. Let's go to the bonfire. There's a guy behind me with daggers. Okay. And, yeah, we'll kill a few more of these guys. That should be enough to level up and use the flail. Is he coming for me? He's not. Oh, wait, is he? Oh, he's being sneaky. There's that one that's also being sneaky. But he will stay on the wall. If I stay over here, I think. Gonna turn around. He is too. <laughs> what a loser. What a schmuck. What a maroon. Did you hit me? Was he starting up an attack that hit me or something? Possibly. <laughs> yeah, he probably should have been able to get me, but just didn't. These guys are... These guys do a lot of damage, but they're weak. 
you get them one-on-one, -on -one, they can't handle it very well. Which is why I keep on fighting them one-on-one. -on -one. It's a good strategy. All right. Decks up. Cool. Now I can use the flail. Wait. I need dex 18. Mm, okay, fine. We'll, we'll, we'll stick with the imp's axe. You know what, now that we have this weapon, that might be enough to deal additional damage. As a matter of fact... Does physical, axe, standard... Strike. I feel like the strike would do more damage against, like, statue-like enemies. Right off the bat. That was a bad heal. That was a bad heal. Ooh, that was... That was my invisibility frames ending while standing in the sword's hitbox. Second time that's happened. This boss. Alright, we're gonna give it a few more tries. I am going to equip everything. Other than those two. Actually, now that I think about it... I think... I can... Allocate last charges. Yes. Increase amount replenished by flasks. Use sacred tear. No. Add charged flask. Golden seed. Not enough golden seeds. Okay. Lucky flasks. Okay. So I forgot I was carrying around those golden seeds. One of them I actually started the game with. And specifically chose. And then just forgot about. So now I have double the healing. That I had before, which is nice. Nice. My buddies are helping. Ooh, I got greedy on that one.
Hell yeah. Okay, fire. Got him. Thank you, nobles. Noble Sorcerer Ash. Interesting. Okay, so... The roots of the Erd Tree have a bunch of dead corpses on them. Except these are either fresh, or they're, like, mummified. Because there's a bunch of bones over here. And then there's these that still have... They look somewhat fresh. Return to entrance. Okay. There's something else in here? Got a decent a tiny chunk of souls. <laughs> I was kind of expecting more souls, to be honest. Man, yeah, this is some metal ass shit here. Is this a, going to turn into a door for me eventually? It seems conspicuously door shaped. Return to entrance. Yes. Why not? Why not? Does that give me enough to level up to dex? 18? It might. That'd be cool. Grave. Stormfoot Catacombs. It does not. But it's a start. Okay. We still have a better weapon out of that anyway. I feel like we made some progress. Not progress that's as, you know, dramatic as I was expecting, but 28 FPS. Yo, how's it going? Wow. Got you. Okay. Rune Fragment, Roa Fruit. Is there anything else up here that's worth investigating? What are those? Are those birds? They are birds. Hello, birds. I don't feel it's necessary to kill you right now. Okay, so we gotta... Wait. Does that roof have a hole in it? It looks like it has a hole in it. What's up here? Can I climb up here? Nope. Bet there is a way up, though. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Oh. For a second, I thought that was alive. I heard something grunting, it sounded like. Probably something up there behind that statue.
Oh, aha. This is going to be one of those things where, like, you get up to places you're not really sure you're supposed to get up to. Okay. Well, let's see what the deal is with this weird skeleton statue. I think it's facing the catacombs I just came from. Yeah, this... Oh, he's got a little something in his hand. Can I have it? No. I'm gonna assume that's a no. Hmm. So I'm kind of wondering... He is intentionally pointing out the way to the catacombs there. Kind of reminds me of those... Uh, creepy mini-boss guys from Ocarina of Time. From the well. But this one's wearing clothes and a crown. I think about that off and on, like, there's a lot of similarities, even between the, the original Dark Souls and Ocarina of Time. Even the combat system, Z-targeting, it's something that you use all the time in Dark Souls. Yes, I will purchase meaning to buy this telescope? I think I will buy it this time. Large leather shield. Flask of wondrous physic. Contains information about a flask of wondrous physic. Further details are available only to paying customers. Oh. Interesting. Waypoint ruins. Waypoint ruins. Yeah, let's just buy the telescope. Goodbye. Now, do I have... Ouch. Memory, grace, gestures. I don't have a quick bar. Like a pause-based quick bar. That is something that you did have in Dark Souls 3s. When you pressed pause, you'd have an additional hot bar. Not like... Item. Hot wheel. Bar wheel, whatever. That thing I keep on hearing, that's that knight on the horseback, isn't it? Yes, it is. Hmm. Well, we're at six, no, we're at 17 dexterity, so we need one more level up. I say yet again, one more level up for the flail. And we are in 30 FPS town. I remember it was starting to drop over here, and I don't know if that's just because it seems to drop more in the trees. Hello. Nope. I need to practice my parries. Oh. Okay. Not so jazzed about fighting two of them at the same time. way too early. I need to practice. 
with the pairing shield. I was doing well with it before. Okay. Nope. Okay, that didn't work out. <laughs> Raises torch. It's like, yeah, I did it. Killed the bandit. And it's raining again. Beast bones. There's the turtle again. I will pick up your golden excrement. Who's that? Back turned to me? Don't mind if I do. New soldier helm and some bolts. Oh, hey, there's a tunnel here. Is that me making that noise? Yeah, okay. It was slightly, it sounded like slightly heavier footsteps because I was walking on that piece of wood, I think. Okay, what is this one called? Groveside Cave. The summoning, summoning pool is now functional. It's going to be its own area with the boss at the end. There is multiple wolves sitting around a fire. So either these are intelligent wolves, or they are here with... Oh, there's dead soldier. Is that a dead soldier? Or is that a sleeping soldier? Well, this is a dead soldier. Cave moss. if I drew their attention or not. Here's an item. I'll see. Oh, hello. you. Oof. Cracked pot. Nice. These wolves are not making it easy to loot this cave. So, I'm not understanding this environment. Why are wolves just hanging around a campfire? Is it because these soldiers were here first and then the wolves came and killed them? Or did the soldiers die from some other reason and the wolves are just here because they're, they're pet wolves? Nice. 
Nice. Thin beast bones. Glowstone. Silver firefly. Well, I have a bunch of loot we're getting out of this cave. Just out of curiosity. Firefly that gives off a silvery light. Material used in crafting items. Found near bodies of cold water untouched by sunlight. The light of fireflies is believed to have an alluring magic. Silver light is considered to invite riches. Head of a large dragonfly. Material used for crafting items. Long believed to have the ability to neutralize poisons. Or toad foulfoot. In the lands between, having three digits is seen as a bad omen. As such, the four-toed fowl's foot is a gift of great luck indeed. Oh, there's an egg. Owl eggs that will never hatch. Material used for crafting items, prized as a symbol of the most sublime sl slumber. Eggs of large crabs which dwell in the shadows, materially used for crafting items. Nutritious foodstuffs, stewed foodstuff that warms from within. The flavor ex is exquisite. Only those of comfort and means know the truth. A crab's eggs are more delicate, delectable than its meat. Okay. Ooh. Root resin. The roots of the great tree were once linked to those of the erd tree, or so they say. And it is for this reason catacombs are built around great tree roots. Interesting. Faintly luminescent moss that grows in dark areas. Trina's lily, a symbol of faith in Saint Trina, dulls the senses, preventing agitation. Interesting. There is probably a little bit of kidna kind of hidden lore there. Lump of flesh. <laughs> Investigate the lore behind this lump of flesh. This dude's just dead. Oh, and of course, there's a boss. Alright, so I need to sneak by the wolves and get to that boss is my plan. I mean, the wolves are dead, but they're going to probably revive once I sit down here. Okay, so my flasks are ready. The wolves are alive. Oh, hey, does the wolf not care that I'm here? Or was it just that sneaky? Beastman of Ferrum Azula. Oh, hello. You got a big good weapon there. He does a lunge attack when he raises up his blade like that. He has very good range. Like, deceptively good range. Drake Talisman. Yeah, the Wandering Nobles are very strong. Hmm. 
No. Let's investigate this a little bit more. What do we get? Flame Drake Talisman. Boost fire and damage negation. The ancient dragons who ruled in the prehistoric era before the Erd Tree would protect their lord as a wall of living rock. Oh, is that the same description? It is. This one's a golden, this one's a fire. Does Murga use fire damage? Not totally sure. to entrance yes all right i don't think there's anything else worth looking at here i'm gonna turn on my heater hopefully the mic doesn't pick it up level up and now it's flail time. Oh yeah. Alright, so... Just kind of dangling. Okay, nice, nice. Oh, he does a little spin with it. <laughs> Okay, so if I charge up. Hmm. Now, my understanding that you hold the charge button and do something different. That is supposed to be a backstep attack or a flourish attack or something like that. No. No. Let me. Okay, both sets of grace, guidance, map. Building armaments. Each hand can be equipped with up to three armaments. Switch right hand, switch left hand. Okay, no. Some attacks may break an enemy's stance. Hold RT, charge attack. RT while jumping. Jump attack. Okay. Right trigger immediately after blocking an attack is a guard counter. Interesting. Skills are highly varied. to enemy groups, no. I think that's it. Okay. I was thinking that there was some other thing. Maybe that's only for... What is... Is that like a guard? Or is it a parry? Or is it a, I'm standing here, and if you come any closer and you get hit, it's your own fault? No. Weapon consisting of a bludgeoning head attached to a handle via chain. Iron ball is spiked and induces blood loss. Blows from this weapon cannot be parried. The charge attack whirls the iron ball around for increased force before striking. Spinning chain. Spins the striking part of the flail at high speed to attack. Follow up with normal or aggressive attack to link the momentum of the skill into a successful attack. Okay. So that means I can spin it. Okay, it just it's com it's like a temporary stance change. I see. Okay, cool. I might turn one of my flasks into a blue flask, then. Do 
Do I have any more golden seeds? No, I do not. I don't have any spells either. I want to get a spell. I want to get at least one spell. I got slots for them. pretty good. I'm happy with that. What is this? Root resin. Okay, nice. So, I think probably going to take a break soon, but we will give Merc it another try. And probably probably not succeed, but we'll be kind of getting the ball rolling. I've got a few more deals to deal with Murgat. At least some wandering nobles. There's a sorcerer. Was very delayed. I forgot about how delayed that was. Ooh. Heal. Come on, heal. There we go. Yeah, we got the crit. Damn it, sorcerer. Don't die yet. Use this again, can I? Don't think I can use a different ash. No, I cannot. Well, thank you for being patient and letting me check. Ooh, the delay on that really throws me off. Ooh, okay, nope. <laughs> Well, hey, we got Margit down, Margit down to, like, a third. This is doable. We can do this. Seems a lot easier now that I have Wandered Nobles and other tools available. I wonder if Noble Sorcerer might be more useful. Let's try it. This costs more FP. This costs the most FP. Now let's try the wolves.
There we go. I got an extra hit in before the stagger. No, didn't. Oh, did I dodge that? I think I did. No. Did not dodge that one, though. He was tracking me too well. I need to get something to eat, and it is already 1 o'clock. So, after I come back, we're going to go straight back at Margaret, I think. <laughs> Excuse me. Until then, I will be back. <laughs> 